There is, however, a bigger thing that came out in chat that I, I sort of want to focus on, uh, which is very interesting. But um, they wanted the daily login. Someone said that in chat. Sorry, I can't remember exactly yeah, yeah. who said it, but someone said they wanted the daily login. This is the death of WoW, in my opinion. This consistent hunt for the daily login. Every single piece of content is consistently designed to just make you log in one more day, right? Come back tomorrow, there's a new thing that you need to do tomorrow. Whereas if you just made it fun, from the get-go, you just make it fun, I'll log in. You don't have to worry about that. <laughs> exactly. I will be there every single day. You don't have to You don't have to reward me even for being there. I remember back in the day, Wrath of Lich King, I logged in every single day for 16 hours a day. There was no reward for logging in every single day, 16 hours a day. First hour was your dailies. Then your dailies were done. And then you did some dungeons, maybe one, because, you know, you were... I, I was an aerobic raider at that time, so I didn't have to do... I didn't have to spam dungeons except for my alts. So I would do my daily aerobic just to quickly get my... Uh, was it Valor at that time? I can't even remember what currency it was. Yeah. And then we would sort of set up raids, right? We would do, like, pug raids. I remember doing pug raids with almost every single fucking class. Just because what else are you going to do? I love the game. I love playing it. I, I want to do raiding. I enjoyed ICC tremendously. If you make the game fun, people will log in. Doesn't matter Doesn't matter if you're rewarding them for logging in. The reward is the fact that they get to log in, right? Um, that's supposed to be what gaming is. When I open my Steam and I look at all the games that I have in Steam, none of those games reward me for logging in every single day. The reward is the fact that I hit play. Like as soon as I hit play, I feel rewarded because now I'm going to play something fun. I'm going to forget about yeah, my troubles. Exactly. I'm, I'm going to get to spend a little bit of time in this world. Blizzard seems to feel like, no, no, that's not enough. We, we can't just make the game fun. In fact, we should make the game not fun at all, but then give people rewards that sort of forces them to do the not fun stuff so that they can actually do the fun stuff. That's sort of my rant on that thing. Yeah, I mean, we've said before, Blizzard focus on the wrong metrics. It's not daily logins that count. It's not amount of subs that count. It's people that are actually going to enjoy the game and keep coming back. Because if you only yes. count on the subs you have, it's just going to keep dwindling. You need to make it fun to yeah. entice people to play. Absolutely. You need to find a way to entice people to play your game. And it can't be rewards. It has to be the, the, the reward should be the game. It's a fucking game. This is like, um, and I think this is actually a very apt example. This is like cigarette companies announcing that they're going to give everyone that buys a packet of cigarettes $5. The fuck are you talking about? The reward for most smokers is the cigarette. You don't have to yeah. entice them to smoke. They'll do that on their own, right? Gaming is equally addictive or not, not as addictive as smoking, but it can be very addictive. The game is the reward. That's literally all we need. You don't need to entice us with more. Just make the game. We'll log in. Promise you. We will be back. We, we like playing video games. And that, that that's sort of something that Blizzard seems to just not keep in mind. And I, I sort of get the feeling like they themselves don't have enough belief in their game. That, that's sometimes the feeling I get with WoW. It feels like Definitely. they don't believe that their game is good enough they believe that without those rewards no one will play their game and what they don't seem to understand is that because of your rewards people are stopping the game it's not it's not the, it's not the lack of rewards it's because of them it's because you create every single system with a carrot that forces every single player into that system where you don't have to do that Torghast could have been its own thing and you could have developed and designed it to be its own thing no rewards outside of cosmetic end of discussion right that's all that was required but no no we we, we will not do that instead we'll we'll sort of try and force people into Torghast because what if they don't do Torghast so what like genuinely so what yeah exactly uh it is absolutely as you said, and we've discussed many times before, is that they're they're unsure and unconfident in their their own systems, their own decisions, their own design, that yeah. they feel they have to force you into doing them, and mm. they put arbitrary systems in place that re require you to do these things yes. and get this currency to fulfill other arbitrary systems. Mm -hmm. Just make it fun. People did the Mage Tower for cosmetic options. I did the fucking Mage Tower right? over and I know over and over did again. Every single one. 
But then to do the Mage Tower, because that was fun, you yeah. had to go do the Centenax farming to get your nether shards. That was in itself passable. It wasn't the best system, but it no. had its moments that yeah. were fun. And exactly. it could have been improved to a very major extent to make it absolutely amazing. True. A bit more variety in the portals, a little bit more size of the threat. Yeah. Fucking pristine system then. But then they had to go and ruin it by removing it because people had too much fun and fun was detected by Blizzard and they said, no, <laughs> you will not have fun. You see, I, Thanks, Blizzard. I'm not a cosmetic guy. I, I don't collect cosmetics. If you guys saw my Transmog and WoW, a lot of you would cringe because <laughs> I, I don't actually care, right? Big true. No, I don't, I don't give a fuck about... I, I don't even know how many pieces I have for Transmog. I, I, I barely ever look. Um, I did it because the gameplay of it was fun. I liked the challenge of it, which is exactly why I r loved raiding and why, to some extent, I like hardcore dungeons and stuff. To some extent. I don't particularly like Mythic Plus because, again, it feels like a system that sort of arbitrarily exists upon something else that should not... Like, you could make Mythic Plus a lot of fun without all of the arbitrary systems that falls on top of it. Yeah, exactly. Right? And so for me, that, that's sort of my biggest issue with WoW, is if you focus on just making good systems, people will engage in them. And you don't have to interconnect the fucking systems. And I've used this before and I'll use it again because it is the most apt and none of you can disagree with me. World of Warcraft right now is, uh, uh, it's a carnival, right? Where you have the teacups, you have the swings, you have the go, like the, the bump, bumper carts, and then you have the big boy fucking roller coaster, right? Some people want to go on the roller coaster. Other people want on the teacup. Some people want to go on the swing. Some people want to go on the bumper cars, right? And then Blizzard says, no, 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 no. Before you can go on the swings, we'd like you to get on the teacups. And you go, okay, so if I do the teacups, I can go on the swings. They go, no, no. Once you've done the teacups, now you go and you can do the bumper cars. Once you've done the bumper cars, you actually have to go back to the teacups and the teacups will then open the swings. And you go, okay. So I do that and I can go on the swings as much as I want. No, 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 no. You need to go on the... Every week, you'll have to go teacups, bumper cars, teacups, swings. The guy that wants to go on the roller coaster, holy fuck. That guy will go teacups, bumper cars, teacups, swings, teacups, teacups, swings, bumper cars, swings, teacups, swings. Maybe, and maybe he will then get a chance once on the roller coaster before coming all the way yeah. fucking back to doing why in the hell am i having to do all of this shit if all i wanted to do was go on the big boy roller coaster yeah, I, just, I think you're too hung up on the teacups because your mug was leaking on you <laughs> bro fact of the matter is i want my dick ripped off by the wind on the roller coaster <laughs> i don't want to sit in the teacups right but in order to get my dick ripped off, I need to go on the teacups. And I have to go on the teacups multiple times. And then what happens next patch? Oh, look, it's the new teacups. But it's the same teacups. It's just different teacups. But I have to do these teacups now so that I can yeah, get back on the... Yeah, they spin the other way now. They, they spin counterclockwise. <laughs> it, it's just like, stop doing that, Blizzard. Just build the fucking rides and let us ride what we want. And this is sort of my argument around people going too many systems. It's not the amount of systems that's the problem. It's the interconnectivity of the systems that's the problem. Because if, if we're going to start complaining about systems, Final Fantasy have far more systems in the game than World of Warcraft. The difference being, first and foremost, every system is designed and then updated and kept up to date so people can keep doing it as much as they want. More importantly, you are not forced into any system that you don't want to take part in. The yeah. system stands on its own and it does its own thing. And that's it. And World of Warcraft have tremendous developers. People who are extremely talented. Just let them design good, fun gameplay. And I think in this regard, gameplay first, rewards later. Right now, it feels like World of Warcraft is almost always designed rewards first, gameplay then. <laughs> yeah, and then they don't have enough time, so they forget about the gameplay, and it's just all about the rewards and the <laughs> systems to get those rewards. And yeah. then everything else is just... We'll, we'll hastily cobble Garrosh together using 
<laughs> interns. <laughs> it's super annoying. Ladies and gentlemen, I do hope that you enjoyed this clip from the Sunday Night Show Show. If you enjoyed it and you want to watch it live, the link to the main channel will be in the description down below. And of course, remember to slap a like on this video, hit that subscribe button, and smash that bell. It does help out. To all of the patrons, thank you so much for your monthly support. It does mean the world to me. And of course, it makes streams like this one possible. So from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank you. Consider becoming a patron. Link in the description down below. Ladies and gentlemen, as always, I will see you in the next one. Peace out, fam.